Iowa coaching history could be made tonight. It's Big Ten men's hoops in prime time as Iowa welcomes Nebraska to Carver Hawkeye Arena. Mike Hall and Brian Butch with you. Minutes of basketball away from that starting, and here we go with the Hawkeyes taking control. It's an Iowa team that is hot. They've won four of their last five, taking on a Nebraska team that's hot. They've won six of their last seven contests. So many different weapons for Iowa. A bunch of different guys can score, including Ben Cricky. Misses, but Owen Freeman gets the first two. One of the best freshmen in the conference, probably the Big Ten freshman of the year, and he's got a battle inside. Missouri Valley All-Conference player. Shot clock down to six when Cricky fires a 16-footer. McCaffrey with some space, and he delivers. Nebraska defensively there just... Quick shot from Peyton Sanford. This guy can light it up. I made three-pointers per game. Nice find underneath to McCaffrey who goes back out and it's swinging. Sanford from deep. In the Big Ten as far as scoring, but now you look at how they find each other in playoff of it. You give up an easy one and end line out of bounds. McCaffrey on the drive. Sanford. He's heating up. Sanford's already got eight. And on 17 unanswered points. Here's a turnover. Casey Tominaga, the first time we've called his name all day long. Rice will drive on Cricky. Effective. The rebound. He's been doing that a lot this year. He's proven how effective he can be getting the board. That's something his head coach loves. Freeman corrals the pass and scores. He'll head to the line. Front of the rim. When you're in transition, you're big and you sprint to that front of the rim. You put your hand up. You gather the ball and now you take time and you finish through the contact. Clock winding down. It's been effective on the drive so far. The freshman making some noise. Tuesday, the excitement that was there. Fantastic. One of the questions Coach Hogan talked about was how do we handle success? Right now they're handling three deep. Josiah Alec with the steal and the slam for the Huskers. That's our highlight of the day, Brian. And you look at just getting in passing lanes and then Alec with the finish. The thing I love about Alec is the energy that he brings to the game can change games. There's Nebraska's the best three-point shooting team in the Big Ten, but they're not hitting them right now. It's so far in this first half. Same for Tony Perkins, but Freeman left alone, and they pay the price for doing it. But Wiltshire with a long rebound. Rice. What a first half for the freshman from Tennessee, Eli Rice. That's a big. Freeman goes for the steal. Instead, it leads to an easy slam for Alec. Went off a great game, a near triple double their last game. He was just one point and one assist away from the triple double. And we got two more for the Huskers. Dix from deep, rattling home. That drought for Iowa from deep finally comes to a close. Alec beats his man. Another slam! Excellent feed to Tominaga for the easy two. Slow from three, and the adjustment. What a great, great finish there from McCaffrey. Great, great end line out of bounds is right. Screening action where McCaffrey scored off that. There were bodies on bodies to create opportunities. Mast inside gets a friendly roll, and he'll head to the line. Look at what Mass does. He just takes his time. And then the balance in the post to finish through the contact. So many bigs. Even though he finishes a little bit. Every, you know, Casey gets talked about the most. But Mass by far is the most important player. Just like Sanford's the most important player. Mike. Three of them already this evening. Mass, what a move! Evan Braun's checked in the game for Iowa. We are seeing two very deep teams. They like using their bench, and then they also get points from their starters like Tony Perkins. 
Freeman guarding Mast. The battle we set from the get-go to watch, and that's why. The nice ball movement from the Hawkeyes all day long. Space is found by Dix. Continue with that right now. Quick answer from Bryce Williams. They get it back to the way that we're used to seeing Nebraska's offense operate. Tominaga from deep, and it's good. That is the second three-pointer of the day for Nebraska. Lead as they scored 15 unanswered points. Oscars have slowly gotten back in it. Perkins at the free throw line. It's good, plus one. Chemistry early on in the game. Then there was a stretch there where they did. Finally, you look at them to start this second half. Tony Perkins just probes that gap, realizes that no one's going to guard him, goes up with the jump shot, and then gets fouled. Had two fouls fairly quickly. On the drive, Gary connects. In this game, finally defensively, we're seeing a little bit more of it from Nebraska. Mast left all alone. Perkins gets his own rebound. Sanford, another three-pointer for Sanford. Pick out for three that the other team's taken. That's exactly what Iowa got there. That is the eighth three-pointer of the game for the Hawkeyes. Three-pointers or more in a game. It's only happened six times. They have five wins in those games. Tominaga driving the lane. All night, the visitors have the lead. Great feed inside, and that's a finish from Owen Freeman. Tominaga again as the points in the paint continue to climb. And they're better defensively, and then you can see the connectivity that they have as a group. Then Cricky inside for two to give Iowa the lead, but at all, and Iowa's defense in that zone is just standing there. Cricky fading away and scoring. Oh, what a feed to Alec for the slam! Tony Perkins sitting on nine assists today. Cricky again from deep. Owen Freeman on a marvelous assist again from Perkins. Team with nine points. Hasn't scored yet here in the second. Owen Freeman losing the defenders in an easy flush. Gary baseline. That's an easy two. There haven't been many easy twos for Nebraska this second half. Dix, the excellent drop off for Freeman. Stayed low, felt the body here, understanding instead of raising up with the driver, he stays low, and because he's... Dix, again! His fourth three-pointer of the day! Freeman underneath, around Gary for two more. Freeman's got 18. Road losses, it's just good luck. And if you do get one, that's a heck of a win. Wiltshire connects from deep, just the fourth three-pointer on the day for Nebraska. Simple ball fake, the defense shifted, he got a wide open look. Dix. Oh my goodness, what a performance from Josh Dix. Nebraska offensively was starting to kind of click more than they had in the first half. Freeman with an easy two. Shot clock down to five for Sanford. Freeman extending his career high. Perkins from deep, it's good. That's modern joke. Answering that question that's there. And even in the middle of the game, remember, Sanford fires again, another one for him, his fifth three-pointer of the day. The 10th win of the season for the Hawkeyes, and the all-time coaching record is now tied. Fran McCaffrey, an 18-point victory, and the Hawkeyes move on. They've got Minnesota next on Monday. For Brian Butch, I'm Mike Call. Everybody stay safe this weekend, nice and warm.